Audio. Okay, cool. <laughs> hey, what's up? Just making sure everything is working. Can you can you hear me okay? Hey, what's up? All right, good, good, good. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right, I'm just making sure the settings on my end are like working okay. All right. Do you know, like, do you know if you can play music? I just have never streamed on YouTube before. I've only streamed on Twitch just a couple times. I don't know, like, the music stuff. Hey, what's up? Oh, what's up? Adrian, what's up, dude? It's good to see you, man. Yeah, I don't know, like, whether to play music or not. Because I don't know if that's going to get, like, dinged or whatever. <laughs> I'll get shut down. Oh, that sucks. I'm sure I can find some free music eventually, but I'm not worried about it right now. So I got this, like, really sick uh, effect, light trail effect from this guy named Cartesian Caramel, I think. He's awesome. Uh, he's on YouTube constantly. And uh, it looks so good. It works so well, too. It's, like, geometry nodes based, I think. And here's the whole like setup. It's just like a, a file that you pay for like four bucks. Totally worth it. At least for me, like I don't have to, you know, hurt myself trying to figure out how to do it. But this is just so perfect. And all you do is like you get the shape and you parent it to whatever you want it to connect to. And then it works. And then also this lightning effect. It's all just so sick. Like if I play it. You can see it like you can adjust the lifetime of it here. Let me see if I can go into the geometry node settings there, right here. And here you can adjust the lifetime of it. So if it's like 100, 160 frames, I can make it 160 frames and it lasts until the very end. And then the fading out is just adjusted by. Oh God. Oh wait, no, it's the shader. It's the shader. The shader editor. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. So to make it fade out, it's just this little ra gradient ramp right here. So it's really nice. Like, uh, yeah, you can, I just like keyframed it. I mean, I, there's, there might be like an automatic way to do it, but I noticed that like in the anime, they do fade out eventually. They don't like just stay there the whole time, even though it looks like they do, they fade out. So I, I just think that's like the perfect amount. That'll be something I have to like play around with. Could you make a tutorial on how to make light trails? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, this isn't even, yeah, this, I, I don't know how to personally do it. I bought a, an asset that lets you do it. So I will, I mean, I can link, um, let me see. Let me just find this guy and I will just link it because I don't really know how to do it myself, but I will, I will I'll just plug the guy who I bought it from because they're awesome. They make a ton of free stuff and I'll just link exactly where I got it. So you guys can mess with it if you want. Let me see if I can drop this in chat. I guess I could create it from scratch, but I don't, I don't want to like if I can just have it and it works and it's there. I don't need to prove anything. I've already done like so many assets from scratch that, and like I, I, I play to my strengths, like geometry node stuff, I don't understand. So I'm not gonna spend like three months trying to learn geometry nodes just to like do this one thing that I can just buy an asset for it. Like this bike, I didn't make it, I bought it. So um, the sooner you get comfortable with just like buying assets, the easier your life will be. Um, let's see. And you can like change the color of them. I think in the shader, where is it? Yeah, like here. You can change the color to make it like whatever you want. But this is, I, I mean, this is perfect. Uh, the only thing is, let me see. I think, 
it needs to be animated. That's the thing. So I have it like attached here and I want to attach them to the other lights. So I want to, Oh, I might have to make a separate one. So let me just duplicate this. Yeah. Okay. I want to add one to, I want to add one to the front headlight part, this part. Cause when I was watching it, like I noticed that the lights were really coming from everywhere. It was coming from the headlight. It was coming from the side little light, lights here. And it was also coming from the back lights. So I'm going to put it on this light. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but that's going to have to work somehow. Uh, that might have to be a separate one, like a separate shader. Let me, yeah, let me change the color. Hey, thank you, thank you for the for the kind words. Thank you. Uh, no, I mean, people will learn how to recreate these works. Yeah, I mean, I th I'm pretty sure the guy who made this stream, so you can watch it and learn from him. Like, I'm certain they made it on stream at some point. But I don't, yeah, I recommend people learning it if you want to learn it. But I just, I'm not the guy to teach you that. Thanks, Albert. Nice, yeah. Whatever you make, you should. Hey, if you if you make some cool stuff, post it. Let people let people know it. All right, let's see how this looks. The best way to test it is to just like. I'm gonna have to go over here. Location, and then moving forward is like what makes it. Yeah, you can see interesting. So this one needs to be. Different color. Is it that color? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still figuring this thing out. Interesting, let's see. So that's that. Mm. Oh, interesting. Here's the colors here as well. Well, I might have to make a separate one. Ooh. Those are like some of the ones that it comes with for like examples. Interesting. What does this do? Oh, okay, that's cool. Hey, what's up, Artem? What's up, dude? Hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, okay. This is so cool how it looks. What if we like unhook that? Weird. Like doesn't seem to matter. What 
what is this called? Trail. God, I don't know what. I don't know if you. Hopefully, you can't hear my computer. The thing is going crazy. So weird. I gotta change the color of it. Hmm. Might be a geometry nodes thing. Aha, it is. I gotta change it here. I'm dumb. There we go. Figured it out. Like, I, I'm glad you guys are seeing this because it, it just proves that, like, I don't know. People just post their best work. They never show themselves, like, figuring it out and learning. Because that's kind of, like, the truth is, like, everybody is just posting their best stuff. And you're like, damn, how the hell do they figure that out? Or how do they learn that? And it's just a lot of, like, poking around and being like, what? Confused. All right, so now we know what to do here. So I'm going to duplicate this. And put it here. And just put that over here as well. This is going to look sick. I'm going to scale these all down. I think these lines need to be much smaller as well. Like, they are actually pretty small. All right. This is sick. I'm so excited to see this. I'm going to try to align this one kind of with it. Put it back here. I wonder, yeah, whatever, well, mm. oh, you know what, what if we do this, we just delete these lines, because I think it comes off the, G it comes off the lines, it doesn't really matter if it's like an edge or not, it doesn't need to be a face, so I think it'll still work, do that like that. Like right on the corner. And the same thing with this. I'm curious, uh, did you guys get like a notification that I was going live? Like in the same way you get a notification that I post a new video? Is that kind of how you were alerted by this. I'm just curious. Hey, what's up Z3D? I'm glad you I'm glad you dig it. I'm glad it's helping. Oh, I have not tried Octane. I I tried uh Cycles X like a long time ago and it was just such a pain in the butt to set up. That I just, or no, like it actually, I think it looked okay, but it was a lot of like setup. So I don't, I haven't really like dabbled with a lot of the, um, I haven't really messed with a lot of the, uh, like render engines outside of what comes default with Blender. So fortunately I have not, I mean, it looks good. It looks like I've, I've seen people do stuff online with it. Like it looks like it really makes really really has has like really cinematic quality to it like grain and um yeah like it looks really good let's see side lights call it that it looks like it has really good grain has really good like bokeh depth of field and lens flares and all of this stuff i've seen some people make some really sick stuff with it but i have not messed with it myself i'm not sure if i will because i don't really like I don't know that 
like I'm pretty happy with Eevee and Eevee is still new to me. Like I used to not, I don't really use it like a ton, but I'm having fun using Eevee and pushing it to, uh, to, to like new, to make like new stuff with it. Um, here's the one thing is I don't think that the light goes through the bikes. Do they ever show the lights go through the bikes? I don't think so. I feel like it's always just like, yeah, I don't know. I don't think they ever show them going through the lights or through the bikes. I mean, okay. So that's a thing. I will have to make these smaller, I think. Yeah, like that. Dang. I think I'll make this one smaller too. Like they're pretty thin in the actual, uh, like they're really thin. Well, they're, they're really thin in like one shot when they like all skid out of the alleyway. It looks really thin. But then when they show them like, when they show the camera really low, it's like a fat line. Ooh. I do wonder one thing. Can I rig this? <laughs> There's a rig? Oh no, okay. I cannot rig it. There's an add-on I think that you, you can rig stuff pretty quickly with. Let's uh let's just make let's just try to make a quick scene with and test this because I think that'd be fun. Oh, I also have a Ah, oh, you know what? I got this cool this other like add-on, I guess, from the same person who made the lightning. I linked them in the chat. They made this really cool rain. It looks so good. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can pull it up. Let me see if I can just open the rain because it looks so good. I want to I want to make a scene with like the bike in an alleyway with rain. I think I mean I mean that that would just be everything. Uh, let me see. Uh, no. Okay. Here we go. I'm just gonna open up a new scene of just the rain, really quickly. You gotta see this. This is sick. Hopefully it doesn't like lag a bunch. There we go. It looks insane. It looks insane. But once I go into like the rendered view, this is what it looks like. Now if I play this, look at that. Isn't this just amazing? This is like geometry nodes. This is so simple. It looks crazy if I, if I select it. So what I from what I understand, it's a bunch of a bunch of lines, a bunch of planes. Each raindrop is like a tube of planes or something. And then each splash is a separate like face of it's I guess it's animated or something. So then all you do is like I don't know, if I go in here, let's just try some stuff. If I take all of this, let me delete these. Well does it is it taking the I gotta take the whole scene, I think. Yeah, I gotta take the whole. I'll just grab everything. Delete that. I'll delete that. Hold up. Let me get rid of these two. Grab all this. I actually think it needs to stay there, yeah. Control C, and then, so there's a collection for the collision, which is like, uh, you'll see, you'll see, once I, once I put it in. <laughs> All right, whoa. What, what do I got? Oh, is something, hold up. I think the way it came in was weird. Okay. I have a feeling the light trails, okay, they did come in with it, but I have a feeling they're not gonna play and that's okay. So I'm gonna scale this up. 
And the idea is if I put this, so right now the rain is not hitting it. I'm excited, I'm, I hope this works. The idea is just that you put this in the collisions and then the rain hits it. So you can see like the raindrops are hitting it now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, it's broken. Hold up. What are, what are these? What is going on there? Okay. Yeah. So now the rain is like hitting it. It looks so good. Look at that. It's like actually hitting it. That's so sick. Let's get rid of these umbrellas. All right, where are these at? There they are. Let's get rid of those. And the text. Yeah, I gotta make it so that I stop grabbing this. Let's just turn off the like little selector thing. Oh, sorry, my camera is like in the in the way of everything. Let's put it here for now. Yeah, so then I, I'll stop grabbing the rain every time by accident. Oh, interesting. Look, the raindrops, how they move, because they like detect. Interesting. I'm just going to read chat for a second, sorry. Um, what are y'all saying here? All right, Octane. Do you think Blender 4.0 will be closer to certain? I, I haven't really played around with Cinema 4D. I, I actually learned 3D, learning, like messing around with Cinema 4D. I think I had like a trial version of it years ago. And that was when I was really, you know, wrapping my head around... 3d as a as a tool so i was like super bad with it um but I, I don't really use cinema 4d enough i think it's just it's really it's really different it's like a different effect it depends on like what you prioritize i think if you want to do like motion graphics and like soft body simulations and all of these like like anything beeple makes is pretty if you want to you if you want your work to look like beeple and all the stuff he does you can you can probably mimic a lot of it in Blender, but it just it come it's a lot more easier out of the box with Cinema 4D. Like stuff just works a lot easier. It's like it's like a professional, it's expensive professional software, so things just work. But with Blender, you can do it. It just takes a little bit more time, a little bit more trial and error. Like especially with, uh, like cloth simulations or soft body simulations, they don't work. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you use if you ever use Marvelous Designer, like the cloth physics on that is just like, it's so smooth, it doesn't lag at all. And with Blender, it lags. So it's just, it, it depends on what kind of thing you're looking for. I think that in general, I haven't really seen people like, I, just in my sphere of artists and people that I look at, I haven't seen people see, may, try to make like full movies in Cinema 4D. But I have seen people attempt and try to and actually successfully make Full short films using Blender. Um, yeah. I mean, I can think of like some people that use Cinema 4D to make really cool cinematic stuff. Uh, like Ash Thorpe is probably the first person that comes to mind. But uh, with regards to just, I don't know, maybe I just, I'm biased probably just because I that's all I follow is just Blender people. So like people like Ian Huber, people like, um, I don't know, I guess Ian Hubert's like the Ash Thorpe of Blender, so, but, yeah, there's a ton of, uh, I just don't really see people making movies or like, I mean, I just, yeah, I'm just, it's just I'm not seeing it, but I'm also not looking for it. This looks sick. I'm going to try something. Let's see, uh, cycles, see if cycles breaks. That's way too high. I think two samples is good. It does not need to be that high. 
I'm not gonna render anything, but I am gonna. Sorry, there was something else here. Can you give some tips on how to grow IG as a 3D artist? Link, uh, can you link your, let me see if I can, are we, my, what's your IG? Let me, let me see it. I'm curious. Is it just C3D Studio? Is that your IG? Yo, what's up, Corey? I'm just catching up on chat. Sorry if I'm late. Um, Corey, what is Corey saying? Hey, glad to see you giving this a go. Sorry for the absence as of late. Been jamming hard on my own animations. Damn, dude, I know you're you're going crazy with the. Uh, I think the stuff you sent me last time looked just insane. I mean, it was like the the thing that was like firing and spinning around with all the forest elements and stuff. That looked so cool. Um, can I turn some music on? I I don't know what kind of music I can play. I I was streaming on Twitch before this, and I played some music just off Spotify, and it like gave me a thing about like every other every other minute, like a a song was like not allowed and my my audio was muted so i'm just gonna play it safe this time right now uh yeah what's your uh z3d sh what's your in insta i want to take a look i mean if you just started but you're already like it, i mean even if you just started it's fine there's all i'm sure there's like things you can do to I, i'm just curious to see where you're at i'm gonna look you up See if anything comes up. Oh, you, is it the one where you have like one post? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't even know how to give you tips. You just made, you've only made one post. It's got 400 views for 14 followers. I think that's pretty good. Like if you think about like view, like followers to views ratio, that's like really high. You're an illustrator. Uh, okay. Let me look it up. Z D A R T. Is it just Z D A R T underscore? Okay. Okay, I think I found it. I mean the 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 illustration stuff I wouldn't know too much about like how to You seem like you're doing like well I guess you got like again 300 followers and you're getting like 100 likes and stuff so that seems to be pretty good I think for where you're at yeah I think like as long as you're if you have like less than 1000 followers and you're getting comments and likes and stuff that's like impressive already Did you switch from, did you do like, did you do illustration and then you switch to 3D? Is that what happened? Let's see how the cycles look. I need to bring a camera in here. There's a camera, there's a camera. I'm gonna get rid of this. And just do the camera all right that looks sick that looks so sick like this is a little environment but it's not exact it doesn't exactly fit this but it already looks so sick and the lightning man damn let's see if we can get a little closer well, actually, I don't think I wanted to get that close. I'm going to box select and then just go into cycles and just see what happens. I'm curious. I mean, it's going to look, it's going to lag, but I'm just curious. Damn, that looks crazy. Wow. Oh, didn't mean to pop out of there. Dang. Like I know there's this other add-on called uh, Rain Generator, and that to me looks like it does like physical water simulations, and I think it's either free or like also cheap, like a couple bucks. 
I was thinking of getting that, but this, since it's geometry nodes, I, I just figured it would be a lot more um, easier on the on the computer. But this looks so sick. I'm telling you, I just need a I just need a Canada model. I need a proper Canada model. I've been I've been looking. There's not there's nothing online. I haven't found a single good Canada model online. If I can even find something close, like clothing wise, I can try to kit bash something together. But I might have to get Corey. I might have to ask you to make uh, make it a wallpaper. I'm I'm gonna make this wallpaper for sure. Like I'm just gonna do it. Uh, Corey, if I'm, I might have to come to you to make a Canada model, but I just don't have a ton of money right now. Hey, what's up? Squid? Squid? What's up? Yeah. There's this guy, this amazing artist. I tagged him in my story who's making a Canada model, like, you know, the proper way, like the Marvelous Designer, the ZBrush, the everything, and the Substance Painter, and it looks so good. And I, I've bothered him already about it. I was like please let me use this, like, I'll pay you, like, whatever you want, because it looks, like, perfect, um, and he's just making it very slowly, he's taking his time with it, and, uh, I, I, I need, I need to, f I was looking at getting the human gen add-on, because I thought maybe that would be, like, a way to make a quick model that looks like Canada, but, I don't know, I just, I haven't seen anything from that add-on that looks like the clothes are done really well, like, like, like the skin looks really good, but I haven't seen anything to me that says that the clothes are done like in a really, like the clothes just look like they get shrink wrapped around the, the body. They don't look like they have like cloth physics to them. But, uh, hold on, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can just bring in one of my uh, assets into this. The rain looks so sick. Oh, you know what I was thinking? Besides this, like besides just making this, I thought about going in and... Uh, actually, let me see if I can open it. Uh, open recent. Mm, I guess I'll open this. Yeah, it's fine. So I was working on this, and dude, I was thinking, um, like, because Akira is already naturally, like, it's really yellow, or not yellow, orange, like, that's the whole thing about it, is that it's orange. So if I go into rendered view, like, because everything is orange, all the lights are orange, everything like that, I was thinking, like, going the opposite way and just making it blue, just as an experiment, right, because... I was in New York not long ago. Let me see if I can pull up a video. And dude, it was raining and it looked so sick. I was just standing out there like... Here's a picture. Like, doesn't that look so fucking cool? Or this? Uh, it's like... Okay, here we go. Alright, that's not gonna work. But like, look at just, just look at that image. It's so cool. There's this like haze. There's this, these like lights that are blooming. It's such a vibe. It's like the perfect vibe. I want to live in that. So I was thinking of this kind of approach, but to the buildings that I have and to the, either to the buildings that I already have or like to the Akira scene because it's already there. So I want to use... I mean, just look at that. That's so sick. Or this. Bro, that looks so cool. I especially love it when the tops of the buildings just like... It's like really low clouds and the tops of the buildings disappear into the clouds and then all you see is the light. I started messing with some of that in like the Linkin Park remix I was making where I was adding clouds and stuff. Dude, it, it looked so cool. Uh, let me Let me just try it with this real quick. Let me grab this. Where's the damn? Where is it? How do I grab this? I turned it off. I know I did. There it is. Delete that. So now it's going to look super weird. So if we go into like camera view here, you'll see how it looks weird. Like the colors come back a little bit. 
But, I mean, I think we can do it. I think we can get away with it. Let me see. Oh, yeah, this was acting up last time. There we go. Okay. So that looks cool already. I think it's a little bit bright. Nah, it's fine. But if I if I take all these lights and I just make them blue instead of that looks cool, right? Like that looks cool. I like that. I like the blue and orange. I mean, who, you can't not like that. I mean, that's just we're programmed to like that stuff. But let's go a little bit more like blue with everything. A little bit blue. The negative value go blue. Oh no no no! Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Uh, this is a shadow. With this. If we go blue. Oh, that looks so different. It looks so different, but it looks so cool. Sorry, let me catch up on chat. <laughs> um, it does look a little bit more realistic, but it's, yeah, it's, it's just like the cyberpunk we're used to seeing. We're used to seeing cyberpunk that's like blue and neon and pink and, but not ye yellow. But I think making it obviously yellow is the aesthetic of Akira. That's what they... Like I watched the documentary on them making it and they were, and whether, whether it was Otomo or somebody else, they said like the goal was to use bright colors, but make it look like nighttime and they somehow did it. So like, I'm not, you know, discovering anything new. I'm just using exactly the same colors that they used and it works because we remember it like that. But Man, this is so sick. So this is also blue. So that works. Oh, I think the environment is also, yeah. Interesting, right? Like this kind of changes everything. Got to make it a little bit darker. This just feels so different. This is, this feels wrong. Yeah, I'm going to keep that and keep the light. Where else do we have? Uh, do I have yellow anywhere else? Is it here? No. Let's see what all the lights are. There's a ton of lights. A lot of the lights are not just regular lights. They're like negative values. So they... Yeah, so see. I'm okay with that. I might have to bring this into Eevee next because... It's just... Uh, it looks weird with old Eevee. <laughs> Dude, that looks so wild. I want to change the color of the lights. I want to change the color of them. I want to make them a little bit less. Yo, what? This is like alternate, like alternate Akira. This is like alternate Akira. Should I make this uh, yellow? Should I make this lamp pole yellow? Because it's, should I invert it as well? Yeah, cyberpunk. Dude. Started as an illustrator and pushed into 3D. Been an interesting ride. Yeah, I started as an illustrator as well. I did. I started with like concept art and stuff. And then I have like a lot of... I did a ton of concept art for like cyberpunk stuff. And like fan art, all kinds of things. And then I think eventually... I had that like passion to create those kind of cityscapes and then bringing that into 3D I think just really helped a lot because I knew what I was I knew what I wanted to achieve like I knew visually what I was going for so I I didn't take the traditional route to learning 3D I just I just used it as like the way you play with like you know Legos or whatever you're not like you can learn Legos by reading the instruction manuals and how to make specific shapes or you can just get a big ass box of Lego pieces and just start putting stuff together without like following any of the rules. That's how I learned 3D. And I think that's what allows me to just strictly use it as a tool and not worry about like, oh, the the UVs are like whatever, not correct and stuff. Cause I mean, you can learn 3D that way, but I think it will be slower and you will probably be more frustrated learning it that way because like you're not getting results as fast as you want to, which that's what I want. I want to get results quick. I'm impatient. And I would recommend learning. That's how I that's how I learned Blender too. Like it's crazy. I think back to all the 
Um, like I think back to all the tutorials I never finished. There's so many tutorials I never finished. I never did the, the donut tutorial. I, and like as a meme, I guess I'll just recommend it to people, but I, I've never actually done it myself. And I don't, if I would say do it and get, get as far as you want, but you don't have to finish it. You just do it until like, until you kind of like get the idea and you're like, all right, cool. Like, I don't really care about whatever particle simulations. Like if you don't need to know that stuff or if you're not, if you're not curious in knowing that stuff for the work you want to do, then like, it's kind of like across that bridge when you get there. Oh, this is such a different vibe. That's so crazy. Like the way I, the way I use Blender is like, I'm making a scene. I'm like, oh no, I don't know how to make whatever lights or particles let me just quickly google how to make lights and then i learn it like in on the moment sometimes that sucks because that can like really slow down your momentum but um it's a great way to just like learn efficiently almost this is weird i need to figure out what's something to do with this if i make it blue it makes it orange that's not what i want Yeah, we might have to pop this into Eevee next. I don't know, if I bring it far back enough, it kind of looks okay. These like negative values, Eevee just seems to handle them way better. I think this looks okay. This is fine. But Eevee handles them way better. Like in regular Eevee, which is what I'm using 3.6, it you're kind of breaking it. And it's not react. It's not behaving in the way you expect it to because I think their lights are just not. They're like fake. So when you make it a negative value, it also just doesn't know how to, what to do with that. But using it with EV next, the lights I think are a little bit more accurate. So it knows how to handle them. Why is this part so bright? I'm actually gonna, should I? I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna mess with it too much. I was thinking of like replacing it with a different, a different building. Cause I made some new buildings since I made this scene that are way better in my opinion. Uh, and you can actually get these for free as well. These, these buildings that I made. Um, at least I think, pretty sure. Yeah, like th this is the original pack. Let me go large. This is the original pack that I used for this. And then pack 2.0 is so much better. Like these buildings, like I have this one building that's called like literally Akira style because it's supposed to look like the buildings that are like super in the super distance. And they have better lights too. So if we go to building class, go in the shader editor and then just switch this off, it'll give you better windows. And I try to line up the window lights to be a little bit more, um, like, accurate. So let's see if we put this here. I don't know, I kind of like that. I like the little, like, red lights in the middle. Those are sick. I should probably add, uh, like, a Gumroad link or something to my description. So you guys know exactly where to get this stuff. I feel like I like keep, read chat for like a second and then get distracted again. If we on Tuesday, we can work something out. Just do some stuff for each other. Oh, sweet. Yeah, man. I, if I can help you with whatever you, you know, I'll help you. I do not stream daily. This is my first stream on YouTube. So I was just kind of testing the water, seeing it. It's already better than, um, I think granted I have more followers here than I do on Twitch, but I used to stream on Twitch a ton and, um, and I got, I think, to a point where I had like five viewers, and so that, that was nice. But eventually, I fell off and then never went back to it. And then came back to YouTube and tried to make YouTube work. You know, it's like, I think you guys all know that it's just a ton of like, trying this, doesn't work, take a break, come back, do it again another time. Hey, thanks, Philip. Felipe, thanks for subscribing, bud. Um... 
yeah, it's just a ton of like, it's a ton of, like, you, I mean, every, every content creator knows that like, it doesn't work out exactly the first time, then you leave and you get discouraged and you come back. So I, I was doing that with Twitch a bunch. And then I just came back to YouTube, started just growing the YouTube a bit more, putting more time into videos, um, getting support, seeing other people, like asking people like, hey, do you think this is cool? Do you think this is good? All that kind of stuff. Corey, you know, like some of the people here, Adrian have been really supportive. So I'm going to make this child of and just copy that so I don't have to animate the motion of it. This is, a, this is, I love this constraint. I learned this watching this other guy on TikTok, but if you want to just copy the motion of something, you don't want to like re-copy the keyframes or whatever, just put it on top or next to it and do the child of constraint and then select whatever you want it to copy and it just copies it. So it's a great way to just like swap out buildings. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, I think. But I do, I, I hope to stream more. I mean, I really enjoy just like working and I'm always working on stuff and it's taking, and I, you know, I, I think it's important for you, for y'all to see how I work. I like seeing how other artists work because it just breaks down the whole, like, like earlier I spent, I don't know, 20 minutes figuring out how to change the color on something. It's, uh, I think that stuff is really crucial for younger artists or newer artists to see because like, I mean, just with social media, you're not going to get artists posting their bad work. You're just not going to see that unless they truly don't give a shit. Um, and you'll have artists be like, I don't really care, but they care, you know, they care. So it's, I think it's, I think live streaming is probably the best way for you to see how an artist actually works, what they think what decisions they're making real time, you know, what, what things they're running into, like str what they're struggling with. If you watch a YouTube tutorial, like I, I think Blender Guru did a video recently where he showed like this thing from The Shining that he cre recreated. It was either in that video or another video or an earlier video he posted, but he said he would do like a tutorial, like from start to finish. And then like he would learn a thing himself then he would do it again. Or oh, it was the one where he was building a house, like the A-frame house during COVID. He talked about how he like learns a thing from start to finish, then does it again without recording it. So he does it twice from start to finish. And then he does it like two or three more times. So he'll do his own tutorials like three or four times before he actually hits record. So like, even when somebody's making a tutorial for something, it's maybe their like 50th time doing this thing, but you're, you're following it for the first time. So you're thinking like, damn, they really know a lot. They, they're like so fast with all the settings and they're finding everything on their first go. I mean, I still don't always know where the subdivision surface, there it is. Like, <laughs> I mean, there's just a lot of rehearsing that goes on as far as I know with like YouTube tutorials. So live streaming is a good way to kind of See the true side of it. All right, I don't want to ramble too long. I want to replace this building. Asset browser. So this is the new version of this building here. You can see it's a little bit more shinier. I think too shiny, but it's got balconies and stuff. So I don't know if that'll look as good. It's a little bit too dark, I think. Make it smaller. It's not worth it. I on the new buildings, I also added these like little red lights and stuff that you don't see on these. I added them here. I added them to these buildings. Um, I added them on purpose here and like little HVACs and stuff that I made, like these. And I added the lights here manually just for this scene. But the actual versions of these buildings, like they have all the lights and stuff and all of the, I think they have like the little HVACs on them as well. Yeah, they have them on the roof. So that's cool. Uh, I guess this one doesn't have it. Oh wait, no. Yeah, they do. They're right here. They're super tiny. They're like, you know, 
sticking out the windows kind of in a realistic way. Hmm. Sorry, sorry. Let me catch up on. Let me catch up on Twitch. On uh, on Twitch or YouTube. Give Cyberpunk vibes. That looks more realistic with the blue. Different vibe. Yeah. Dual chromatic look. Hmm. This is cool. Thank you, Felipe. Good stuff. Good point. Hey, do you love the stream? By the way, I'm making my first thing. You tell me. I'll add. Uh, I'm making a game. First thing you tell me. I'll add. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just like is my dyslexia or something, but I'm not really sure what that means. All right. So this is cool. I like the orange light, but here's the thing. We got to add the, the rain, dude. You know what I'm saying? We add the rain. Where's this building at? Put that in there. We got to bring the rain in. What was this? Is this just, yeah, this was like a, this was a plane I was, I put in to like separate the layers of things because I was trying to make a wallpaper out of this for a wallpaper engine. I'm still going to get to that at some point. I'm sure I will, but I just, maybe I'll stream that because it's one of those things that just, it's very tedious. It's a lot of just like poking around. Uh, wait, what was the, what's that? I got to color, copy this. And I'm going to use this on some of the other ones like here. Okay. What's this? Is this negative? No. I think it might be too, might not be blue enough. Or too bright? Ooh. Kind of like that. Same. Kind of making it like dark. Kind of cool. But let's make it bright. And then let's make it just like a more blue color. Dude, like green. What would happen in app like if a color goes further back? Would it it would get more orange, probably? So would it get more purple? I have no idea. I never really learned color theory that way. <laughs> this is so sick, actually. Okay, so I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to add the cloud because that'll, first of all, adding the cloud. I got this cool add-on called Real Cloud. And it lets you make clouds, but I really honestly per bought it just for the clouds. It comes with, look at all these clouds. It's like 100 clouds. It comes with so many. And geometry nodes and stuff, whatever. But uh, this, all right. So let's see. Let's put that in the scene. And I think we go into um that's not we're not gonna export this. Oh if we do we do JPEG, PNG. There's something in the settings, I think. Give me a second, I'll figure it out. I can kind of see it already. I just don't know how to get it through the camera because I wonder if the camera is too far away, if that's why. Let's try to bring it close enough. Okay, you can kind of see it. Oh, I wonder if it's shadows or something. Hmm, could be this. I think it's that. And you know what it is? It's because I have a lot of negative values in here. So the negative lights will really get weird. Like the negative lights really destroy the volumetrics. It just, it like they don't know what to do. Because the, the volumes really work well with lights. So when there's like negative values, it just breaks it 
but like that. I like that a lot, like that. <laughs> that looks cool to me, I don't know what to say. It's like this, let me bring up the pixels. That looks sick. But you see like around the negative value, it gets, it gets really, really dark because it's like absorbing the light. So it looks weird. Like from this angle, it looks really cool. Just imagine this as like a, a map, like a game map that you're playing. That'd be so fun. Somebody said, take these buildings and put them in Fortnite. I don't know how to do that. But I bet it would look cool as hell, like jumping from one building to the other or like crossing bridges and stuff. And actually, that'd be really cool as a game. Like as a level, if the buildings are moving and stuff, open up line of sights. That could look, that could be kind of a fun level, I think. Ooh, I like, I kind of like that. Yeah, right here, I have a shadow. So it's like this one. It's like, yeah, destroying it. If I can find a way to do this with, with and make it work, maybe have it ignoring the, yeah, the volumetric lighting it needs. Is it light clamping? I think light clamping might be was something I figured out. Maybe it wasn't that. I was messing with this stuff and it was kind of giving me some interesting results. Let's try let's try a thicker cloud. I feel like it's going to crash Blender any second, by the way, just to let you know. This? Ooh, that's huge. Dang. Jeez, that's crazy. I think having, like, the text peek through it, that, that's it. That's the vibe right there. It's a little bit dense. Let me bring down the density in the shader. Look at the shader editor. Bring down the density. Yep. Yeah. That looks cool. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. That just looks cool. And uh, you can't change my mind. Damn, that looks so sick. So sick. Is scattering the solution? I still don't fully understand how scattering works. Damn, that actually looks cool. Even when it's like more subtle, it looks better. Underneath, coming from underneath. This is so sick. I wonder how this would look if I brought it into EV next. I wonder if it looked better, like with the volumetrics. Like, I wonder if it handles volumetrics better. We don't, I don't really know. I haven't tested it. Should I test it? I know it'll handle the negative light values better, so that might be good for us. All right, let me see how this looks. I'll do a quick test render. That looks sick. It loses saturation. So it would just be less saturated. It wouldn't like change the color of it. Dude, with EV's volumetrics, I'm seriously considering stylizing my work and deviating from my pseudo realism via cycles. I think that more people need to use EV. Like you can get really, really stylistic with it. If you want to, um, there's this guy named, I think, Blue Green on Insta. Their work is like heavily stylized. It's like, it looks like comic books. And you, 
you can go in that direction if you want to, which is in a what in in an in some way fun if you have a project that's hyper realistic and you put it into something like that that could make it look interesting in its own way. But what I like about it is that it requires a little bit more massaging. Like you need to you need to massage Eevee a little bit more than you do cycles. Cycles just works out the box. Like you put in a light, you put in a you put in a light, it just works exactly as you expect it to. You don't need to do anything. There's all the caustics and whatever and uh light bouncings and stuff that it works but with ev i think uh you can like for example make neg i mean you can make negative values in cycles i think as well but it's just so much more responsive that it's easier to play i love this i'm just noticing this i love this when the lights shine through the volume and all you see is the lights you don't even see the the actual structure, that looks so sick to me. Wow, this is so cool. Damn, like a, like a, just like an inverted version. It's not even, I would say, I would say it's nighttime, but it's, it's also, it's, both of them are nighttime. The orange version and the blue version is nighttime. Yeah, it's a tough move. I do want to try this in cycles first, but I do think Eevee is more optimized for what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, I think weren't you doing some kind of like anime thing too? Basically, uh, basically it's what you're doing. Though I am considering blending mm, actual traditional drawing into the images animations. There's there's some people right now. There's this artist. I forgot his name. I'll 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 DM it to you later. But he is like taking the normal maps and painting over them. So then it has like this painterly effect when you bring it back into Blender. Damn, this is actually cool. I would love to try like rendering this out. But also, yeah, let's let's save this and bring this into let's save this and bring this into EV next. Let's try that. EV next is alpha, so I'm just worried it'll crash. Oh, let me just make sure I'm good on my screen. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's open up. Is this it? Is that what we saved? Yes. Let's see how it looks. When it's a clay render, when, it, when the textures don't... I think we're good. Hold up. I'm still getting weird like artifacts from the from the light subtractive thing. This thing. What what would it look like if I just turned that off? Do we notice anything different? Oh, it's not that noticeable. I'm okay with turning that off for now. What about this one? I notice it more. I don't. I don't like the change. I don't like the change as much. Oh shit! You know what? I totally forgot to let IG know that I'm doing this. So let me just make a quick IG post or story thing. Oh, oh snap! Oh snap, dude! About to let him know, dude. As the saturation increases, the colors appear to be more pure. As the saturation decreases, the colors appear to be more washed out or pale. All right, I, th I guess that's kind of what's happening here because that light, the blue in the background was a lot more... Uh, it's a little bit more pale. Whoa, these are, these look different. These values. That's too bright. I think having them be a little bit lighter is good. Yeah, I like that. 
that's what you need, man, on buildings like that. You need to have the light coming from the bottom. Having the tops of them, like, lit up doesn't make any sense. Dang. Ooh, oof, I like that even more. God damn it. This is so sick. I was trying to... Uh, I think, dude, I think if you're an artist, you just have to learn, like, 3D. Learn Blender, at least. Like, there's... I got into a thing with, like, an artist recently about, like, not... Like, I think I'm a, I use, I'm a still a 2D artist. I'm still a 2D artist. I consider myself 2D. Uh, I've only recently started to say I'm a 3D artist, but I've spent most of my time making artwork in Photoshop and drawing and painting and all that stuff. And I always put off learning 3D because I'm like, I was always intimidated by it. And then as soon as I learned it, as soon as I started poking around with it, I made I made like a couch in Blender, like a really simple blocky ass couch, like a Minecraft couch. And I was like, oh my God, this is so sick. And it just made me so inspired. And then I started thinking like, oh, I don't have to draw a couch in perspective. Why would I do that? I can just, like, I can just model one and then put it into my 2D scene. And that's how that's how I, I still use 3D that way. Like, I'll do a sketch in 2D. I'll make, um, I'll make like, I'll, I'll, get the, I'll get the idea of it in, in 2D, make things in 3D and then bash them all together in 2D. I think I need to do something with this cloud because it looks weird the way it like clips through. And, or actually, does it make sense? Does it make sense for the cloud to stay still? I guess it does, doesn't it? I do like the cloud, like right there, just poking through. That looks so sick. Oh my God. Just this? Just this? Oh my God, it looks so sick. And like, sometimes I'll take my 3D renders, I'll render them and then I'll bring them in Photoshop and then paint over them. Cause like, again, it's just a tool. So if you're really comfortable drawing and painting in Photoshop, but you're not comfortable doing it in Blender, make the hard like perspective, the anatomy, do all that shit with lighting and color. Do that in, in Blender. And if you need stylized stuff, just use Eevee and then bring that render into, into Photoshop and paint over top of it. I mean, we paint over top of photos all the time, but if you can dictate what those photos look like, what the base looks like, it's just so much easier. I'm just gonna look at this for a minute because it looks so sick. Yeah, the foreground, middle ground, and background all have to be clear separation in terms of values. Yes, I think the the bottom the bottom to top lighting is what helps it do that. And if you look at a lot of um, if you just look, just if you look at any city, it, it only makes sense that the light all comes from beneath. There's all this uplighting, so uplighting is like super crucial for cityscapes. I think it might be a little too dense. I love how that is peeking through, but I think it's a little too dense. Maybe we can turn it. Yeah, like that. All right, sorry, I'm getting distracted. I need to let people on IG know I'm doing this. I'm doing this stuff. They need to be in here seeing some of this. That looks so sick. Oh my God, that looks so fire. Dude. Uh... Like I love this feeling when it when it comes to making artwork and I just I don't really get that from 2D as much as I do with 3D cuz 3D you can there's more likely you'll have all these like little happy accidents. With 2D it's like deliberate. You put the line down, you put it down. I mean, you can sketch and and photo bash and stuff and sometimes you get a happy accident there. But with I just think it happens more often with 3D. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? It's getting really to work. 
Underneath? What do we do? What do, do we put it underneath? What looks better? Like here? Because then it's like some steam and shit from the street. Or like... I mean, I don't know. I, I think I like both. Like both is just... The little light that is... I think it's this one. Is this a negative value? Is this destroying something? Yep. I gotta get rid of that. At least for the render. Try not to burp into the mic. That'd be gross. You got atmosphere perspective with the cloud. Yeah, that's what I think. Color is more saturated in foreground. As your buildings in the cloud or behind a saturation of the colors are going down. Yeah, I mean, that's also the thing, like, realism versus stylization, I guess. Like, you can definitely have realism and have it be stylized at the same time because that makes it look good. I don't know, I think I like, I don't want to be completely covered. Like that maybe? But I do like it being in front of the building. I can add, an, I guess I can add a second cloud. I like it kind of being in front of this building, like peeking out like that. Wow, this is so cool. I need to, cause well, I also wanted to add rain. So let's see if we can add the little like quick rain to it. Oh, you know what? It, it building the, the building moves through it. That's why it doesn't work right away. So like here it's in front of the building and then here it's not as much cause the building is moving. Can you scale your cloud up? I mean, I can. I wonder if it like if it's if it becomes like too dense. I'm trying to I'm trying to navigate it around all the lights. So if it like if it hits, I mean that looks cool. You're right. Sheesh! Wow, that actually looks so much sicker. I think it was like when it was smaller, it was more dense. Dang. Why does this look so much better? Jean Claude, what do you know? Wow. Dang. Wait, just curious. What would it look like? in front of the lights. <sighs> That's a little too crazy, I think. That's a little too crazy. It's too distracting. I think this might be the way. This is like dark Akira. This is Akira, like the dark edition. This is like after, like, or maybe right before, right before the explosion. Or right after, like right after, right before they start like rebuilding everything. And it's all like, I have no idea. Like I don't even know lore wise where this would fit. This looks so good. Oh my God, this looks fun. This is so fun. Thanks, John. That's a good, uh, Good, good, good tip there. <laughs> yeah, right? I like it. You're, you're getting hyped too. I can feel it. Let's throw some rain in there. Let's see if we can throw rain in there. 
I gotta delete these buildings. I know that you don't see them, but I think they're gonna, they're just eating up space. Um, this one I can probably turn off since we don't see it any really, but I think it'll still, yeah, it's still copying the movement. I'm gonna increase the, the value on that, by the way. I just want it to be a little bit brighter. I want you to see that a little bit more. Like if we zoom in here, you don't really see them because it's five. So if maybe like 10, a little bit brighter. Or you know what, instead of that building, what if we make it a different building? I think I have a building that's more appropriate for something like that. Oh no, oh wait, yeah. Oh damn, I don't have the, god damn it. You know what? I'm too lazy. I'm not going to do anything about that. We'll leave it as is. I should make it smaller. Yeah. Dude, like, just look at this part and, like, watch the building just go down and up. That, you know what that tells me? That gives me um, Evangelion vibes. Like the buildings rising like that out of the ground. I cannot wait to get to Evangelion. I've I've been sitting on this insane Evangelion model that Corey made for me. Corey uh, in the chat, see Gooch. I've been sitting on the model for so long, and uh, it looks amazing. It looks immaculate. I have one video on my channel where I'm like showing it off. It looks so good. I would just like. I think I would just look at it. I wouldn't even do anything with it. I would just look at it. And I've been waiting to find the right time to make an animation to it. I was thinking like once I'm done with the Kira stuff, I'll I'll make a I'll do Evangelion after that. But man, it's just the Kira stuff is so like like look this, like we're experimenting. Wait, is that actually moving? It is. I don't think it is. It's not. Is it? I don't think it's moving because we turned that building off. No, it is moving. Okay, it's moving. Yeah. That looks so sick. Like, I wonder if when they were making this movie, they were like, let's just, let, they started with blue, and then they were like, let's do it orange. But I wonder if they started with blue, and they were like, damn, it looks so good, though. I mean, blue city, like blue cyberpunk city, that's just iconic. I gotta, I'm, I'm so curious if people, what people think, if they like the blue version. Because the blue feels blasphemous, like, it feels like you're not allowed to do that, because that's not how it is. And, you know, there's so many people that are like, you're, you're trying to, you're, I don't even know. People are somehow think I'm going to replace the Akira that exists, which I, it's impossible. I'm just making fan art. But it's so, it's just like, it's fun to play. You know what I mean? It's fun to play. There's the original is safe and sound. No one's touching it. It's still there. You can still go watch it. You can still buy the Blu-ray. You can still support it. And I recommend you do that. But it's fun to play. It's fun to experiment. <laughs> Cause it's volume. Half the reason I roll cycles twenty four seven. Yeah, dude, volume with cycles is bad. Volume in cycles will just quadruple your render times. Um, there's this music video I did. Let me see if I can pull it up. There was this music video I did like two years ago. Pilot the return. Yeah. I'm going to try to. So I, I did this music video. Two years ago, three years ago, it's got 2.4 million views. It's probably, honestly insane. I did this all in Blender. This was Blender 2.8. And I'm I'm proud of it. I really am. I mean, new new retrowave is huge, so that's probably why it's got so many views. But th nobody knows this was made in Blender, dude. This was all Blender. Some After Effects. Okay, 
it's you know i didn't really know how to do textures so just leave me alone but this stuff is ev a lot of this a lot of these shots are ev this one is cycles so like you see how the road just goes on forever i wanted i had volume in there and it was good oh no let me show you something I had volume metrics in this. I had a big cloud and everything like that. But because it was, I think I had like a 1060 at the time in my computer. Um, it was just, it took like an hour per frame or something crazy like that. We even tried using a render farm like me and Pilot and he was cool with trying that. Sorry, I got coffee bur burps. Um, but it it just took forever even with the rend even even with the uh i think we use render street and they were like you can render p you can render cpu and then it'll take like a day or whatever or you can render gpu and then pay for more like you can pay a lot and so we didn't really i really didn't have a ton of money to put into this neither did he so we were just like all right well let's just you know i, I learned z passes i learned depth passes all that stuff and it just wasn't coming together so um took forever to render volumetrics with this and even just this took a long time and we used the render um farm for a lot of the cycle stuff so like this one was cycles and this one i mean this is just like this is like this was three years ago and look at what i'm doing now i mean this shot i'll show you you gotta see it that shot was inspired by akira this I had the motion blur like set super high, like three or four, because I wanted it to have these like Tron like streaks from Akira. And I didn't know how to do it back then, but I was I could only fake it. I could only do it with, through motion blur. And I just thought that looked so. This shot took I don't even know how long, uh, three days to render. It's so short, so sick. With the music, you gotta watch the music video. It's really good. And with the music, it's just perfect. But like that was cycles, and you can see it doesn't look. This is EV. You can probably tell. Like any depth of field stuff, any depth of field stuff, any volumetric stuff with cycles is like game over. But with EV, it just works. And again, this is 2.8. Also, EV didn't have motion blur. So 2.8, EV didn't have motion blur. So anything with motion blur, we had to use cycles. And anything with, and anything like everything else we used, uh, I used EV. Let's see. There was, there was this shot. I think this shot was, I think this is EV. Yeah, this is EV. You can see the ground is a little bit different. And then this shot was cycles. Because one wanted the motion blur, so the shots that have motion blur are cycles. And I had the camera shake. I remember I made the camera shake for this so extreme, and it looked cool. But then, like with the denoising and with cycles, it just kind of smoothed it out, and it just doesn't look as good, but still looks good. This is EV. You can see with like how the lights come in, the like ray tracing or whatever. That's uh, like the screen space reflections. That's what it was. And then this shot is cycles because again, of the shaking and stuff. This is cycles. Mm, a solo kicks in in the, in the song here. It's so good. Anyway, yeah. I don't know why I started playing that, but oh yeah, it was because cycles takes forever. So definitely, um, I mean, you can also composite stuff in After Effects or DaVinci or whatever. So you can render the first, the first layer in the the foreground, middle ground in cycles, render the background in EV, whatever. It's just a lot of work. You should get some good God rays in there. Yeah. Dark Knight meets Akira, hell yeah. Oh my god, dude, imagine. 
Yo, okay, so you know how like they have that scene where in the Christopher Nolan Batman where he's got like the cape flying and he's like f- like uh, riding the bike down the tunnel and his cape is like flapping in the wind? Like that on an Akira bike? This is getting ridiculous. Okay, I need to stop. <laughs> I want to revisit the model and give it some touch-ups. If you want to, I mean, I don't, again, I don't have the funds, but if you want to on your own time, definitely. I, I'm not going to stop you. Rigging it, I've thought about, like, I know you offered rigging it, and I think now, the more I watch, like, Evangelion things, I think somebody recommended that I do, um, what was that one, what was that monster in Evangelion, like, the diamond shape thing? Oh, R- Remail? Yeah, somebody asked if I could recreate this, and I would not be against it. This seems like a really fun one to recreate. But, like, this stuff, the way that, like, I want to make this whole interior part. And I'm sure it'll just be a lot of array modifying stuff, so I'll only have to make, like, one section. But, like, this, I can make. the Him shooting out like that, I can make because we have a st- stiff model. Dude, making this in Blender would be sick. I think geometry nodes would be, have to be the way, but I'm sure it's possible. You gotta ask the right people. God damn! God damn! This is insane. Um, Jesus Christ! <laughs> like this, I, I could probably do this. Like the... Oh my god. I want to at least, I don't want to like animate him, but I do want to like at least pose them. Being able to pose them. So like if you have it, if I can get it rigged enough just to pose it and like put it in positions. Because oftentimes that's what you'll see with a lot of these like, like I think this is the, this is the episode where he snipes it. And dude, if I can get him in like a sniper position and... Like imagine imagine him and like laying down in the sniper position and you just see like whatever. Like it jerks, like you know how like the camera shake is like poof. I didn't want to make a sound effect into the mic too loud. It would like blow your ears out. But you know what I'm saying. Like, dude. Like this, if I could rig him to look like this, I'm sure it's gonna be weird and tough and it or already looks kind of weird. Like why did, you know, how would his shoulder blades go? Yo, this cannon? Make this freaking cannon? Damn! God! God damn! Yo, this show is insane. The way they, like, the way they translate power. And then it screams. Jesus Christ. That, what is happening there? Whoa, it's like lightning. I never even looked at that before. Holy shit. Oh, it's like charging it into that thing. God damn. Oh, this would be cool. I have a feeling that this you could do. Like if you do like a shatter, but like in reverse. I think that's how I would do that. I think that's how you would do that. This looks like, it looks, I mean, it's definitely 3D. Uh, this part, it's gotta be, it's definitely 3D. But what it looks like, it looks like they like simulated a shatter and then played it in reverse. So it's like healing. Damn. Golly. Oh yeah, this fucking shot. It like melts the mountain. Yo, this is just insane. Like, I would love to recreate this stuff in Blender, but I just do not think I can match the intensity. This is just another level of intense. God damn, all the smoke and fire and shit. Yo, get out of here. God damn. Fuck.
so much camera shake. This is like Dragon Ball Z. Like when I was a kid, I would watch Dragon Ball Z. This is how I would feel watching it. <sighs> Shits it out. Shits out its own guts. Yeah. Oh, this I could do. I mean, this is Geo Nodes. You could do this. I've done something similar for the. Um, I've already done something similar on my channel that looks like this. But that would be fun. Oof. Yuck. Yeah, with Evangelion, I gotta be careful because there's just a lot of shots that are like so tempting to do, but there are clearly a ton of work. But some of the shots that are more like artistic and stylistic, I think I can do. That are a little bit more just like... Like this. Hold up. I mean, that looks so sick. It's like a damn Marvel movie. This could look cool. Something like like the buildings in the foreground, they're stationary. They're still, there's that uplighting that we're talking about. And then you take this and you just animate it and do a bunch of random geometry node stuff. You could make some. This would look sick. But yeah, man. Oh, man. One day. There's also this really cool shot I saw uh, when I was watching like the James Webb. It was like a documentary on James Webb Telescope. There's this really cool shot where they, where they were in an elevator that was like going up and there's a window out the elevator and you just see the rocket or was it was either the rocket or the telescope itself and the it's like the camera is on the elevator so all you see is moving past you like these railings and structures and then you just see like the telescope in the distance like your perspective on it like barely changing because it's so massive and i thought of doing a shot like that like doing a shot from the human perspective looking up at the ava and getting a sense of how big they are like their scale so if you're standing in the elevator and you're like going if the ava is like here and you're just going up in like a tiny elevator and you just looking at it you know i feel like that would look so cool and it would be like glimpses and spotlights on it so you wouldn't even see the full thing oh my god i need to calm down dude it's glazing all right this is sick this is so cool. The orange actually doesn't, it doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of weird because it's like green. Let me do another test render. Something is happening here. Is it okay? Hold up. Oh yeah, okay. That's fine. I don't, I just don't like I feel like this is just doing too much. Yo, I still haven't even let IG know I'm doing this. Hold up, let me let them know. Let me let these fools know. And then I gotta use the bathroom, so I'll be right back. Um, yeah, I'll just do a little... Little... Actually, it looks bad. Yeah, let it go. Ooh. Wait, no, I'll just do this. Yep. Okay. I gotta run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. But before I do, let me just read this chat. Um, Dark Knight meets Akira. All right, John, take it easy, dude. Yeah, yeah, I'll try to be on a little bit longer. So I'm going to, I don't know, I have, kind of have all day. So thanks for, thanks for the tip. Thanks for chatting. It was great. Dark Knight meets Akira. Thanks, dude. I want to revisit the model and give you touch-ups. The new rigging strat might work better. Yeah, I agree. I mean, do what you got to do. I think orange was a matter of paint choice and material costs. Oh, I think you're right about that. I think I remember that, yeah. Was it cheaper to use orange? Is that what it was? Because I thought it was like a risk for them to do it that way. All right, take it easy, John. Uh, Jean, sorry, Jean. You should experiment too. Keep 
keeps the creative juices going. Yes. You got to optimize your render settings for volumes, but you're right. Yeah, I think with like, sorry, I know I'm talking about your old comment, but like even with Hollywood films, they just do Z passes and then they composite the clouds over top of it. They don't even really, I don't really see them. They, I don't really see them rendering volumes and shit. Like unless they have to with like water and stuff like that. But if it's just like cloud and fog, I'm pretty sure they just composite that shit in there. They don't even like play. I think since 2.0 render times have drastically improved. Yes. Yeah, I had a 1060 back then. Now I have a 3080 Ti. Insane. I would love to do a, maybe redo that video or re-render some of the things just to see how much different it looks. Denoising, any chance I get. Denoising actually is good. I think you should use it. It's one of those things that you notice and that an artist would notice and an artist will look for. I was talking to somebody recently and I was like, I notice denoising and stuff all the time, but like nobody else does and nobody else cares. So like I'll notice denoising in like big budget things and like who cares? Yeah, cycles is ray traced and EV is all fake. Yep. <laughs> Remel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remiel? Remiel? Uh, I do that Angel Geo nodes. I do that. Ge okay, yeah. You should try. I would love to see you try that. I feel like you can, I can throw that Angel at anybody with, who knows any bit of Geo nodes and can do it. And you can even make it up. Like you can mess with it. It doesn't have to be exact. And that's, you know, that's also part of the fun is just getting the feeling of it. Not exactly of doing it one, like frame for frame. <laughs> Sculpt in the gun. That'd be sick. Beam collimator. Collimator? 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 I don't know. I can't read. I've tried this in Blender. It's fluid sims and, uh... I haven't figured out how to use this yet. Hmm. I'll get you later. Don't remember, don't remember exactly, but I think I recall hearing it from the document. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the normal maps, especially like in video games. All right, I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. We are back. All right, so let's see, let's see if we can add that rain in there, huh? I wonder, I wonder if the rain will break it. Hopefully not. And uh, I might have to move all of this stuff into like collections. New collection. Just move all of this stuff into a collection. No. <laughs> hey, Alexander. Thanks for sub subscribing, bud. What's up? I'm trying to do stuff right now. I'm trying to move this into a collection. How do I... Uh... What is this? Okay, this was that late. We got to get rid of that one. I always try to move stuff into collections and then it just like breaks. Like it moves just the collections, but it doesn't move like the actual stuff in there. Oh, is this because this is, uh, needs to be on the outside? Hold up. Okay. Take all this like that. All right. I see you like broke it. Yo, Blender, what are you doing? I'm grabbing the collections as well, trying to move them into a new collection. And it like, what did it do? Did it just like separate it? <laughs> I don't get it. All right, hold up. Let me, I think there's a way to do this. Hit A. A, select everything. I want to move these in as well. I want to move the collections in as well. So I'm just like selecting all of them. Will this do it? I think that did it. It didn't do it. It just broke it. Or did it? What? Where is everything? Yeah, what is happening? Did it like organize everything for me? What? Maybe it just organize everything for me? That's why it's confusing. Can I delete this? What happens if I delete this? Nothing. This I need. All right. I guess it just organized everything for me. Maybe that was for the best. All right. Let's bring the uh, the rain in. Where's the rain? Quick rain. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I think I gotta take all of this. Let's see if it breaks, I guess. You don't get it. Why why didn't it bring in why didn't it put it, bring it in as a collection? Like well, if I take these, control C, copy three. Control V. What's going on? Why didn't it like? You know what I'm saying? Yo, Blender is dumb. <laughs> do I gotta do this? Do I gotta like make sure everything is shown? Like this? I don't know. Something's not coming through. I want it. To, I want the whole thing to come through because if it's in case something is breaking. What if I just like append it or something? Let's just append it. Append. Um. 
Where is that file? Okay. Hey, thanks, Alexander. Thanks for the kind emojis. Trying to get rain in here. But I think I'm going to have to do it the hard way. Rain. Collection. Append all of that crap. There we go. So there's the rain. Hmm. I hope it doesn't break if I make it just giant. I can delete all that. Turn off the rain. I might have to take my dog out, y'all. So I do apologize if I have to step out for like five minutes. You hear her? Let me see if I can get her in here. Sniffing. Oh no. She's the cutest. God. Love you. You smell good. You smell like chips. Smell funky. Hmm? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna put you down. Ugh. So we gotta get the rain in here. Back to our programming. Okay, so I think the way it works is, and let's we can uh, hide the rain parts. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. What is rain column? Like, is this what I make bigger? Okay, so that's just the rain column. And the rain splash is the splash. Gotcha. All right. I think we can delete this. Okay, so I think we can make this bigger. Haha, <laughs> that looks so cool. It's coming through. Damn, this looks crazy. This looks so crazy. Um, rain density, that's the individual things. All right, good to know. Max length, okay. We don't need it to be super long because I only need it to ca cover the camera. Well, let's, let's see if we go in here. There we go. We only need it to be like that long. Uh, I do need to be wider. Is this making it wider? Size? Wider? Oh, it's the column. Whoops. Um, I guess I could do that. Length a little bit longer. Like that. So let's see how that looks. <laughs> this is so sick. I think the hard part is that it's going to be, uh, it's like the buildings are moving through it. But it's okay. That actually looks cool. We might, be able, we might be able to do that and then duplicate it and move it over here. <laughs> yes. So like that. And then we do the splashes. Dude, that looks so cool. Wow. 
Wow, that was cool. Dude, this is so sick. Oh, cool. I see what that, what's going on. The randomness. Yeah, I kind of don't want the randomness. Let's go. That's so sick. Well, this we definitely got to put here. Okay, one thing. One thing I'm curious about. If we duplicate that, put it here, bring down the density, bring down the max height, and then put it on top. Let's see. If we take these all and put them inside the collision, will that make it collide? Yep, I think you can kind of see it, or can you not? Hold on. Oh, yep, okay, so it is getting the, the collision on there. It's just not really, you don't see it passing through. You can kind of see it for a second. Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Yeah, it's there. It's just big. I think I need to make this smaller. I need, I need it to hit like there. I need it to hit like. What is it even looking at? Is it looking at this one? It looks like it's looking at that one. Yep. So how do I get the rain to show up? I guess because it's tiny, that's why it's not showing up. Okay, it's not even going to make a difference. This is so sick, though. And I got. I think we got to put the buildings into the collision folder. Yeah, these we got to put in the collision folder at least. All the HVAC stuff. And it's already parented to this stuff, so it doesn't matter. So grab that. Grab that. Yes. And this and this. I might even put this whole building in there. I think I'm going to put all these buildings in there. Move it into collision. Ooh. Yeah, it's slowing it down. Oh no, it's gonna shut down. It's not even on, yo, that rain's not even on. There it is. Is this hitting? Is this rain like hitting? <laughs> the giant ass splash. Where is that? See, maybe, maybe that we don't see that. Mm, if we change the randomness of it. Then it would definitely be hitting it, I think, right? Yeah, you can see it hitting the building like right there. That looks crazy. I know. This is so fun. I'm having so much fun right now. This looks so sick. The, the the rain kind of going everywhere, I don't think I like. I kind of like it just going straight down. Whoa. And I don't and I think we can take this out of the collection. I think we can take all of this out. 
of the uh, of the collision collection because it's not helping. It, it's like you don't even see the rain hitting it. It doesn't make a difference. It's much smoother too. I don't know if we need it. I don't know if we need it like either back here. Let's see. Do we notice it? Or if we need it like right in the front. Let's see if we put it, if we turn it on back here, do we notice it? Yeah, kind of. I don't think it's necessary. In the very foreground, do we notice it? Yeah, but it's look kind of big. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, I think having it like there. The I think the light passes through it. Am I crazy? It looks like it does. It looks like the light impacts it. We'll have one here. Or sorry. This one. Maybe we'll put it like right between the buildings. Like that. Uh, just add some like noir music, some jazz. Damn. I think we gotta render this. Whew. Oh my god, this is so sick. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. She might bark. I might have to mute one sec. There's like a car outside. You good? There's like a guy with like a car, so it sounds like it's growling at her. I think she's good. I think we gotta render this. I'm gonna render it probably uh, like portrait view. Ah, this is so sick. Yeah, let's do a portrait view. Damn. I don't even remember how it looked when I did it the first time portrait view. I think I just zoomed the camera in way more. That must have been what it was. Yeah, that's definitely what it was. Yep, it was like that. 160. Yeah. Golly. Um, Dude, this is so cool. Look at the rain. It's like in the actual 3D space. That's... They nailed it. Um, something is off. Is it like this? Do I need to tilt it? I think I need to tilt it. Something looks off. It doesn't look how I remember it looking. Maybe like that. Wait, 
One sec. Sorry. Okay, cool. Interesting, I got like a follow through Twitch, even though I'm not even on there. Like I'm not live right now on Twitch. So it's just an interesting... Dang, there's 10 of y'all in here. That's cool. Or was. Or... Yeah, it was. That's cool. Yeah, thanks for coming through. Thanks for coming through. Thanks for just chatting and hanging out. This is cool. It's a Sunday. Only thing with the rain is, should I turn on motion blur? Oh my god, this is so sick. This is so sick. I gotta turn, push it back a little, I think. Hmm. I wonder how the camera looked. I feel like this needs to be moved over more. Like, just something about it looks, feels off. Like here? It feels like too, too, um, like too low now what is this grid what am i seeing oh it's the transparent background i actually don't mind seeing the tops of the buildings i don't think you could see them before but i don't mind it it like makes it feel, uh, I, wanna see, I don't wanna see the top of the, this one. This one's supposed to be the tallest. Yeah, that looks even cooler. <laughs> looks so cool. Let's bring this over here. Let's bring this line in. What, where, where is this? What is happening right now? Why isn't it even glowing? Oh, I see. It turns on. <laughs> Not against it, but I don't like that. Damn, it looks even sicker when it's just like on. That looks sick. It's a little bit bright. Let's bring it down. I like that. I just like the verticality of it. Like you don't really, the, these buildings back here, you can kind of see their shape because of the windows, but you don't really see the silhouette of it too much. Dang. This is different, I think. This is different. Let me see how it looked in, in my version when I posted it. This feels different. <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot more... I think the camera was lower. Yeah, I think the camera needs to be lower. Because <sighs> you see, like the top of that second part of the building. It almost feels like it was like this. Or it was tilted down more. I think it was tilted down more. Yeah, it was tilted down more. Like that. Yeah, because you see the bottom of that building more. This is so sick. It's a whole ass vibe. Like, like Cyberpunk meets Akira, essentially. Cyberpunk meets Akira. 
I love this part. This little up light right here. Just love everything about that. Um, this might have to get moved down. Yeah. And so it will this. And this as well. Yep. Yep. Dang. I think these will have to get moved as well. They are going up. How does it look in cycles? God, I don't even know if I want to try. It probably is going to look good, but I think the volumetric is going to kill it. Let's see. Let's see. Let me save first because I'm I am certain it will cr cause it to crash. Oh, that was you. Thanks for uh, following on. Thanks for following on uh, on Twitch and and here now. Thank you for that. How does it look in cycles? Let's see. Yeah, the clouds just completely. Uh, Everything is kind of set up for EV, so like the the lights are brighter than they're supposed to be. The volume is. I think if we turn up the volume, that might help. But I am so afraid of it crashing right now. Let me see if I can turn up the volume. There it is. I mean, it looks cool, but I think it's a little bit too bright. Like the lights are very bright. Colors are not as saturated. It does look interesting though. I have like these like values, like this light right here. It's a negative value. It's negative 900 watts or whatever. So it's creating this blue color here, but that's because it's a negative value. So normally if I was doing this in cycles, I wouldn't have, yeah, it doesn't look bad. But I, if I was doing this in cycles, I would disable a lot of these negative light values and only keep the regular lights. It looks, yeah, it looks oddly, very obviously more realistic. What is this? Why is this like lines right here? Is this from the rain? Is it casting shadows? Weird. It makes me think of like Batman, like old, the old uh, Batman animations. Like for some reason, everything looks like it has a bit of an outline to it. Especially these buildings back here. Like they, I mean they do, but it just looks weird. Yeah, it's not bad. I think if I want to get uh, the bloom and like the volumetrics in cycles, it will just take a lot more like tender love and care and massaging. Also, I don't know if you can hear, but my computer is like going crazy. Let's get out of this. Uh, get back to Eevee next. <laughs> it just looks all crazy at first. Wait, was okay. It's taking its time. It's it's lo loading everything in. Yeah, it's just, I'd have to mess with it a lot more. What's going on here? Look at this. The volumetric, like, is freaking out. Was I not using EV next before? Was I just using base EV? I was just using base EV. Oh, maybe, maybe EV next just doesn't know how to ha handle volumes yet. Because look at it, it's like spazzing out. Because of denoising. And then look, what is, what is all this? What is all that? <laughs> Interesting, what the hell?
totally the volume. It's just throwing it off. Maybe we, maybe we got to mess with some settings in here with the volume. Volume metrics. Weird. So weird. Hmm. I was I guess I was using Eevee before this and then that and then now it just doesn't know what to do. Whoa, it's so dark. AGX. It looks so dark. I mean, Eevee seems to look better, but I don't know. It's it's having some glitches. It's like putting it in front of everything, you see? I don't know why it's doing that. It does look, I think, better. Let me see if it shows up in the render or if it's just a, like a preview artifact. Yeah, 4.1. 4.1 alpha. 4.1 alpha. So the most recent Blender today, they showcased the render where EV next and cycles. That's awesome. I think Blender crashed. Oh God, it's not responding. Let's give it a minute. I used Eevee Next for another render and it looked good. Like it looked really good. But um, and we might not be able to use it with this, with the volume metrics and stuff. Maybe it's not like set up for that yet. I gotta watch Blended today. I feel like I will get something, learn a little bit more on how to use it better. Might have to shut this down. Shut this whole operation down and restart. I think I saved. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I saved. Is the little asterisk mean I didn't save? This is also one thing about Eevee that scares me. When you go to render it, it just renders the whole image at once instead of like the whole like pieces like the way that cycles does so when it's like i don't know if it's rendering right now or if it's actually bricked up oh or if it actually bricked not bricked up just bricked oh no let's just do that let's just close it let's go back to blender 3 let's just go back to regular let's go back to regular old blender No, we will not. We will use Blender 4.1 and we'll just use Eevee. Yeah, just Eevee. Okay, that's not what it was. Recover, autosave. I actually think it might be hop off might be hop off time. Yeah, it, it did auto save. It seemed it seemed to work. I think it auto saved. Yeah, I think it auto saved. And this is just no, not even X. Get out of here. Even X is broken. This looks so good. <sighs> I'm gonna render this out. I'm gonna render this out. This is sick.
I might tilt the camera up just a bit more. Maybe not. No, I think that's okay. Ooh, I'll do a little thing for us here. I'll do a little, uh, oh, hold on. Wait one sec. All right, we're back. So, uh, what did I want to? Oh yeah, I wanted to change the type. I wanted to go here, change the text. Yeah. What should we make this? This is gonna make like a YouTube thing. I was thinking of making just like Akira, like Akira Blue. Akira, and then Akira. Just blue, I don't know, I feel like that to me feels like something. And then, cause it is, I'll make this blue. Haha. <laughs> I'll make this blue. I mean, I don't know, I like it. I was gonna make it some reference to something, but whatever. It's, I, I'm not clever enough for that. And it's different. Like a Cura Blue could be a, a whole like project. Damn, are we are we onto something here? You guys gotta let me know. Are we onto something? Like, is this something that we should do? Should we make? Should we recreate? Some of the all the other shots that I have, but blue and call this Akira blue because that that sounds like something to me. That sounds like a thing to me. That sounds like a project. There are some shots in the in the sh in the movie that are blue. Like there are some shots where it's greenish, where it's bluish. But I wonder if this can just be a thing. Yes, Corey's on board. Let's go. Corey says yes. I think this could be a thing. Like, we just kind of, you know, the shots that are, like, there's a shot of the, um, let me actually pull it up. Let me see if I can pull it up. An interesting study. I agree. Yeah, like, it doesn't have to be super duper serious, of course. But as a study, it, it, it's, it could be interesting. Wh which all of this is. This is all for fun. This is all... Um, let me see if I can find it. Like I did the one where it was like a street light. And that one was uh, a careful has a nice ring to it, right? That's what I'm saying. I'm glad you agree, Jean. I'm glad you agree. Send me the file explorer with cycles and add rain. Uh, I'd be interested to see what I can do with it. Sure. Let me let me find this one that I made. I think I, I think it was this one. So this one was this this one, and this one was like I and I just keep saying this one. I'm not saying anything, but this isn't as orange, and so doing this one would be interesting because this is like greenish greenish orange. But doing this in blue or doing this in full orange, like yellow orange, could be interesting. I have this asset too. I should probably just release it on Patreon or something. Like you see some of the buildings here are also blue. This one is definitely a lot more blue than, than I made it. But it would be fun. 
This is all right. I'm down. I'm super down for this. I love this. I love just like exploring, experimenting, and we land on something. This is exactly how I even started this whole project in the first place. I was just making something unrelated and then got excited, made a thing, and it took off. This this is like the most my most favorite way to make artwork is to just like experiment. Yo, let's try this color, let's try this render engine. Like Corey, I bet if you on your thing, if you tried instead of um instead of making it in cycles, try it in EV and then see what happens, and I bet you'll it's like really exciting. It's just so exciting making art like this. Just playing. Just playing. Damn. This is so sick. And like the music. I don't even know what music to put with this edit. All right, let's. I like this little part right here. You see the little, the little bloom down here? Hmm. One thing I want to try is motion blur, and I know that's not accurate. I know that it, uh, it's 24 frames a second, but I know it's not. I just want to see what the motion blur, if the rain looks better. I just want to see. Thanks, uh, Dro Drozik. Thank you. Okay, yeah. So the rain looks better, but this is... um. I don't hate it. The motion blur is a little bit fast on the on the light, but I don't hate it. If you're up for it, go Akira Blue has nice ring to it. Yes. I just read that I think. Your Akira neon sign. Go with another color though. It's too much blue. <laughs> I think the foreground, the orange helps offset the too much blueness. But I mean, if it's called like Hero Blue, we gotta make it blue. Maybe we make this uh, like yellow and we make the the text blue. Or maybe like, oh, maybe like, a, like a pink or something. Like a, that's too strong. That's too strong, but that looks so sick. God, I don't know why it's, it's giving me like Nokia vibes. God damn, that looks so cool. Sorry, I need to control myself. What should we do? Should we do like a pinkish, like a like a pink like that? Kind of cool, kind of neon. Looks fucking cool. Should we do like a pink or should we do like a like a like an orange? Just just type type pink or orange, pink or orange. I'll duplicate it. I'll duplicate it. And we'll have it here. Let's do orange. And then this one, do pink. Y'all gotta let me know which one. I don't know, kind of even, even overlaid. Could be cool. Pink or orange? Oh, that's what I'll do. Put it here. That's orange. Oh, that's not orange. That's sorry. That's like a yellow. Let's get it like a real orange. Yeah, like that. Or pink. <laughs> they both work. You can render a camera pass of your rain motion blur composite. Yeah, I, I just try not to composite too much if I don't have to. It's like, I like it when it just works, you know? It's, it's like less work and it also is like more reliable, less steps. So that's orange, and that's pink. So far we have one vote for pink. I mean, we can even go a little bit more purplish. It doesn't have to be super duper pink. It's a little bit too pink. I think it's a little too like playful. Maybe go a little bit like 
in between. So damn green. I hate my life. Mm, green looks so sick too. Green looks so sick. It's I think it's too blue though. It's too close to blue. Do like a like a purplish pink. Purplish pink. Let's just watch it. Let's just watch it with this. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I like it. Let's restart. Let's watch it with the with the with the orange. So Jean says pink. And see the light change. Mm. You can go purple. <laughs> we gotta make a decision. <laughs> I mean, orange is like, I think orange is like a callback. So orange was kind of what we had before, but orange also does pair with what's going on here. It it's warm. It pairs with this. But do we like do we want similarity or do we want some variety? Because some variety can be oh my god. I don't know. I have no idea, you guys. I have no idea. I'm struggling. I need help. Trying not to look. God, I don't know. The orange, the pink is making me, it feels like cyberpunk. But the orange just feels like Akira. I think I'm gonna go with pink. <laughs> the orange yellow color that is. Oh wait, sorry. Yeah, it ties with the foreground. Yeah, right. But I think I'm gonna have to go with this. This just feels. Cause I, I I'm starting to feel like it's not even Akira anymore. I mean, it's Akira in the way that it's a. The, the shot composition and the buildings and everything like that, it's Akira. The lights are Akira. It's there. Yeah, I think I think we're good with I think we're good with changing it like 60%. Because I'm trying to think like the balance of like how much of it should should be Akira versus how much of it should be like this new thing that we're playing with. And if we're just kind of changing the colors around, it shouldn't change that much. So we should be allowed to change the colors and it should still feel like Akira. Because there's that argument of like, in my head at least, of like, you know, if it's referencing Akira, but it looks totally different, like vibe wise, like it's not even Akira, don't say it is. But I think this still is. I mean, we've only really changed the color, added rain, added smoke. There's no smoke really in the, uh, in the original either. We're changing this one a lot. And the lights are different. God, this feels different and new in a good way. But I just, I'm not sure we'd be even calling it Akira at this point. I can't stop watching it. Which is good. Which is good. Corey, this is the thing, dude. We made that Evangelion model, and I'm just finding new ways to go back to Akira. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know when I'll make an Evangelion animation. I'll have to make one. I'll make one eventually. I just want to make like the little interior parts I was telling you about. Uh, what is, so what are you saying? Uh, put it aside. Come back to it with fresh eyes in a couple of minutes. 60-40, that's the rules at 7-30. I can't remember. What do you mean 7-30? Oh, like the, re the remixing of it? 
Is that what you mean? Like 70% original, 30% new? I know you're good, but I'm just saying like, I want to, I want to make it. And it's just, I wish I could like either clone myself or be like, Hey, I would ask you to do it. But I know like, honestly, I would love for you to do it. I would love for you and you would be so good at it. And I could also think of Max sometimes like, cause I know they do a lot of like 3d, uh, like hard surface modeling, asking them to make the interior, like the, the interior where the Evangelion shoots out of that whole interior part making that part because i think if i'm once once i have that and i have the ava like it's done this, the buildings i can just populate I, I might have to make a couple of custom buildings because the buildings in what is it called like what is the city in evangelion called the built the buildings there they're structurally architecturally they look different than the kira buildings they're a lot more like sleek and stuff a lot more sci-fi so it'd be fun to recreate those i think i'd have fun making those and i can make a whole asset pack for that and like give that away or sell it or whatever 70% real stuff, 30% sci-fi. Yeah. God, I'm in love with this. I want it to go a little bit longer too. I want it to go like... Let's see if it's 24 times 5. It's 120. 24 times 6. That's 140. It's 168. Let's make it go 168 because it's 24 frames. Ah, God, this is so sick. All right. Isn't there a way to just like extend something? I, I guess I'll just slow it down a bit. Yeah, this will like slow it down. It's crazy to me that this shot in the original is so short. Like this shot and like a lot of the other shots are so short. And yet they're so iconic. It's literally like 12 frames or something. Like I don't even think it's that long. And this one is tied to this one. Just extend it. it might be good practice for me treat it like a collab with you coach uh, uh, uh collab and you coach me along since you've kind of already got this shader yeah time to stretch it time stretch it oh time stretch it uh yeah i have played with that before In the output. Oh, this thing? Uh, I think this kind of works, though. I'll have to do that next time. Hmm. I do need to adjust this. Where is it? The light, it flickers when it's behind the building. I need to make this, just move this over so it flickers while it's outside so you see it. And then this as well, move this over. Ew, dude, sorry. Having the blue pop up late is kind of cool. Because you're like, Akira? Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I like how this pops up, this goes away, and they both come back in. I actually do need it to come forward. Mm, I think I want it to stick around a little bit longer. Just for a couple extra frames. 
And then this building, I might have, uh, let's see what direction it's moving in. Okay, it's just moving that way. So I'm gonna have it come out or like reveal itself more like that. So then it's, Maybe have this one move more. Yeah, that one's moving in that direction. I remember why I didn't have it move more because <laughs> this side is like gets revealed and like you just see like nothing. But I think this one we can make it not move as fast. Have to still be here like that. You guys want to know something crazy? This to this tutorial that I did on my channel for this vi uh, for how I made this. Some artist, some Blender artist, found my tutorial, found my assets, and my the assets are free. The tutorial is free. Obviously, it's on YouTube, and recreated this. And then that animation that he did was used in a logic, like the rapper logic. It was used in one of his promotional materials. That was so crazy. That's like peak for me. Cause as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, what, what? But then I found out that logic has like somebody he hired, like has his team and his team hired another thing. And there's like many, many steps removed and then eventually got with that artist. So it's not like logic. No, as, as far as I know, it's not like they're like, aware of each other but it was so sick it was just like like as soon as people saw that they were like ah oh, Yakov Lavard Akira <laughs> that was cool but I don't think logic even knows I exist but that's okay I'm not doing that for that I want Otomo to know I exist is he still alive oh god oh god is he still alive is he still alive I think, yeah, he's still alive. Oh, thank God, there's time. God, there's time. Dude, well, I found out Sid Mead died. It was crushing. I, like, just found his work, got his books, and then he, like, died. I don't even know, like, a couple years later. I was like, oh, my God, man, that's so sad. I don't think I was ever going to meet him, and I'm, and, but, but, you know, it's just, like, these legends, man. They're getting up there. It's gonna be a sad day when fucking Otomo dies, dude. Shh. God. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it still happens a little bit too late. I want to have it happen a little bit earlier. Yep, okay, that's good. That's good timing. Yes. All right, I am happy with this. I'm going to save that. Okay. It's not technically EV next, but that's fine. Let me get this to a good spot. I will just make a new folder. Akira Blue, we're doing it, y'all. We came up with it here. You were here for it. Everyone else who missed it, they suck. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Akira Blue. It, like, when I was working on the other Akira stuff, I was thinking, like, Akira Awaken is, sounds sounds so awesome. Like, Ash nailed it. He's a he's he's a professional. So, like, I can't name mine that. And I don't want to name it anything close to that. I want to name it... And Awaken is so fitting, you know, to the story and everything. But mine is just an experiment. Mine has no story. There's nothing going on here. It's just me messing around. So, and you know, like, what is it? It's, it's just the, the cities. It's just, the, it's just appreciating the architecture of the city. It's not even really about the characters, nothing like that. Even though I got the bike and I was messing around with the bike. But it's really about the city. And so calling it Akira Blue, I think, 
I like that more. I don't know. I feel like that can be a thing I can like put my name on and say it's like original in a sense versus just like the other stuff, which was more like a I don't know. I'm not I'm trying never mind. Don't don't let, stop letting me think about it too much. Let's render this. Let's see how it looks. I think it's still got the motion blur turned on. Oh, and the other characters turned on. Get that orange out of there. Do we want to keep the motion blur on? I don't hate it. This looks so good right here. This looks so good right here. This looks so good right here. Just the color contrast, the volume, the... Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. God. Damn. Logic is some like super giant rapper. Super giant rapper. He's from like Baltimore, which is crazy. Or not Baltimore, like from Maryland. Thanks. Fiyama. Sorry, I couldn't see if it was an I or an L. Thanks, Fiyama. Thank you for the kind words. So, uh, time stretch. Alexander, would you or anyone else in this chat be interested in putting together an anime pilot that I'm putting together? I have a budget and uh, that's tough. I don't know. I'm I don't have availability, but if you can find somebody, an anime pilot. Jeez, that sounds like it's gonna be a ton of work. Animation, as far as I know, is probably one of the most expensive ways to make anything. It's like, a, what does anime cost now? I mean, I know you're, I know you're not gonna try, you're not going for like some Attack on Titan level stuff, but I thought I heard that each one of those episodes costs like a million dollars. It's insane the amount of people that have to, the amount of work animation is like, even if you look at those like really early Newgrounds animations, those still took people like months and months of work. Eight hours a day, ten hours a day working on animation. Animation it takes a long time. I think, however, I'm not sure how what your budget is, but whatever your budget is, you're gonna want to like double or triple it if you want to do animation. If you want to do anime, unless you're like, well, if it's like 3D, it might might make it a little bit easier. Also how much original content is going to have to get made for it. Like if you, if you have the artists and like, yeah, I'm trying to think it's, it's like, it's like any, it's like any film, like you need world building, you need characters. So the, if I, if like, for example, I could do environments, but I can't do characters. You're going to have to, you're, you're going to need at least two artists full time, one to do environments, one to do characters. And then maybe a third person who's like a director who can like, you know, do all the cinematography and all that kind of stuff. You need like technical people. Um, so a lot of times when you see like small projects, when you, even like, for example, Akira Awaken, it's like one minute long. It's like one minute long and it took them like a year to make it. And it's 3D, it's not even 2D. It's not even anime. And it was Ash and it was another guy doing all the like the modeling and stuff so they were spending all of their free time on it so even if you get like the best of the best it's still going to take like a year to make it and if you're gonna if you're gonna hire the best of the best you got to get ready to pay so unless you do it yourself that's the only way to, that's the only cheap way to make artists to do it yourself but then there's time it takes time to learn all this stuff and to do it there are luckily a lot of resources for tune shaders, anime shaders, all that kind of stuff in Blender. So that makes it a little bit easier, I think, to learn and to like get people together and to get a look going. But, um, and then rendering it all, like who's gonna render it? Are you gonna use a render farm? It's just gonna take a lot of money. Yeah, eight hours a day. Like, I'm going to say the average rate is maybe like 50 an hour, like on average. That's for one person. So just do the math, how much time, how fast you want it to get done. 
even the artists that I know that are really good that just collaborate together and they don't pay each other nothing because it's like purely a collaboration thing. It takes like a year or two to like make a whole thing. You know. It's a lot of money. Motion blur, keep the motion blur. <laughs> you work at DNEG? No, dude, I wish. I just got this hat for free at SIGGRAPH. I wish I worked at double negative. That'd be insane, imagine. Um, yeah, you need an efficient team. Hard to find and also like, just takes time to put that together. Low end would be 40 an hour. Yeah. I got one. I'm a director. Need one more. One episode pilot to present to distribution to pick up. And you're going to want your pilot to be really good, you know, because you're competing with like what's out there already. I mean, dude, like, it, I'm not saying it's not, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying not to could do it. And I'm not, I'm also not saying I know anything. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've never done an anime pilot. But just the, the, the few, the, these backgrounds that I've done, you know, like you can save yourself a lot of time and money by being open to reusing assets, by being open to purchasing a bunch of assets, not having everything be um, like original and just reusing assets, reusing like recycling stuff and then hiring artists like for spot things like really on the spot stuff. It's just, yeah. I, I, I mean, if you, if you got the resources and you know, if you got the money for it, do it. But I'm not available and I don't know anyone in chat is. You can probably go on like Reddit and find a bunch of people to be up for it. Oh, there you go. Jean will help. He's got some cool anime shaders and stuff. Explosion's real cool. Who's this? Who is that? Is that Alexander? What are we talking about? Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. All right, this is it. We're going to do this. Let's select the folder for the frames. And we will render it out. I'm going to, maybe I'll post this tonight. Yeah, I'll post this today. Y'all know. Y'all will know. If y'all are following me on Insta, you will know. And you can, we can just be like, yeah, this is so sick. I was there for it. He's about to get scalped by Fortnite. Yeesh. That'd be a good paycheck. That was one of the other things. I mentioned it earlier that somebody earlier, like a while ago, mentioned bringing all of these assets into like Fortnite Creator, which I'm sure it would look great. I haven't messed around with Unreal Engine too much, but, you know, I'm sure this would look great in Unreal Engine. I'm sure this would look great in Fortnite. And then like these buildings are moving and imagine you're like running around and like you just look up and you see these giant buildings. They're like moving and stuff. Could be cool. I know that people are gonna give me f are gonna fuss in the comments if I do motion blur. I'm like that's not the original. The original was twelve frames a second. But I like how the rain looks. Let me let me try without. Let me just try without. I'm just I'm not even trying it without. Where's the motion blur? Let's see how it looks without. It doesn't look, it doesn't look awful. It doesn't look worse. Look at that, it took like one second to render, that's nuts. I 
I don't even think the rain makes a difference. Like here it is motion blur. Look at the rain. Like hardly makes a difference. I think we're gonna go without the without the motion blur. Just I think it's I think it'll look good. Alright, I'm gonna let this render. I'm gonna hop off. We, how long have we been going for? Almost two hours. Almost three hours. That's a long time. But uh, thanks for, you know, like creating such a welcoming space for me. And just the, the chat was just firing off like f from the first five minutes. That That's awesome. I'm definitely going to stream again. And um, yeah, maybe the next scene I'll do, I'll stream and keep a lookout. Follow me on Insta. Watch, just see the edits that I make. This is going to be so fire. This is going to be so sick. And I definitely want to do an alleyway. Um, there's this alleyway asset I was going to purchase and I'll do like, 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 uh, let me, let me see if I can pull it up. I'm going to, I'm going to do this scene because I have the bike now. I don't have a, a Canada model, but, but there's this one scene in the very beginning where they show them in the alleyway, kind of like here, look at this, see like this scene. I feel like this could be done. It's wet. It's our, like, we just need to kind of fill it in with all this stuff. And I think Ian Huber has a ton of assets we can use. I have a ton of stuff I can use. I can purchase some stuff. And I think we can make this. And, like, these bikes I don't have. But I feel like Ian maybe has some on his Patreon that might be, like, rip or something. Um, This I have. I don't have a model. I could probably make one or just find a default one somewhere. But I just love this shot. Like this, as the camera pans down. This, we can do this. We got to make this. We got to make this happen. And the bike. What if we do it like this? What if we make just this shot, but without, uh, what's his name? Tetsuo in it. And we just have the bike sitting and it's raining. Come on. And it's raining. I think, I think that would just look amazing. I think that would just look amazing. I'm so excited to do that. I am so excited to do that. Hey, what's up, Hourglass? We're actually just about to wrap up. I'm sorry, but this is what we're doing. We're we're taking the uh, the old school Akira scene that I made, and we're making it blue. We're making it blue, and. We decided on making the text uh, like this pinkish kind of color. Added rain, added fog, like added this big cloud, made it look all smoky and noir and shit. I am excited. I am excited. I'm stoked to put this up, to render this. And I think as I'm going to go through recreating the other ones, I think will be fun. I think recreating the other ones will be fun. Just flipping in the blue and adding the rain, adding the volumetrics. Oh, that's going to look so sick. And then eventually doing this. God, I wish there was more time, you know? I wish there was just more time. If we can do one a stream, I think that would be a good pace. I think if we can do one Akira blue flip a stream, and then depending on how often I stream. Right now, I think I'm set for like once a weekend, maybe every Sunday. Uh, I'll see how my weekdays look. I'm usually pretty busy. <laughs> Corey, are you still are you still on? Catch me on the Discord, dope. Uh, if you're still here, Corey, what do you think? How long it would take to render one of these motorcycles or to model one of them? I feel like it'd be pretty easy. This, of course, is complex, but these older ones. These ones, they, they, I feel like they could, they don't look too crazy. Maybe we could try modeling one on stream one day. I think that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Hell yeah. I am excited. All right, well, hey, you guys need to make sure you're following me on Instagram. I think I have that in the description. This, I'll be posting this later tonight and I'm stoked. I am so excited. 
I'm so excited. This was so fun. Yeah. All right, I gotta go. Thanks for thanks for chilling. Thanks for the good stream. I gotta go. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for coming and chatting and subscribing and everything. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah. See ya. Bye. Have a wonderful night. Or was it have a wonderful day or have a wonderful night? Whatever. Sweet. All right. Peace. I know you showed up late. I will, if you just follow on me on Insta and follow me on here, you'll just try get the notification for it. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I know exactly how you feel too. I know exactly how you feel. I've been there. It sucks, but I will stream either like this coming week, like weekday or weekend. So just follow me on, uh, follow me on socials, follow me on here, like subscribe, turn the notification on and everything so you don't miss it. But, um. You cannot you can, you might be able to even watch this afterwards so it's it's okay it's all good All right